Hey guys, Dean Gearhart here, coming at you with another video. Uh, today, being Super Bowl Sunday, I thought I would share with you my only vintage uh, complete set, my 1960 top set. Uh, I do have complete sets from 1970 up, but uh, this getting back, this is my uh, oldest vintage set to date, and it is complete. A uh, little bit about this year. Uh, 1960, the championship game was played between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Green Bay Packers. The Eagles won that game 17-13. to uh, It was played on Monday, December 26, 1960. Uh, back then you had 13 teams, uh, with the Cowboys being the, uh, that being their first year, at least for cards. Um, in this particular set, there are 12 team cards. Uh, they did not make a team card for the Cowboys. Um, this particular set was available in penny packs and nickel packs, and it did have a insert. It was a metallic sticker. There was 33 different stickers, um, 13 of them being the, uh, the pro teams of that time, and the rest were uh, college teams. Uh, I don't have any of those uh, stickers, but maybe someday. Anyways, uh, it's a 132-card set. Uh, it was released in a single series, although the checklist talk about series 1 and 2. It was only released in one series. Uh, it has 23 rookies in the set. Uh, most notable being uh, card 56 Forrest Gregg, Hall of Famer. Uh, there was 31 Hall of Famers as of right now in the set. The most notable names being uh, Jim Brown, Bart Starr, Johnny Unitas, uh, Phil Harnig, uh, Frank Gifford, Bobby Lane, and Y.A. Tittle. Um, this card had a couple uh, errors. Uh, most notably, this was the second year in a row that Topps put Cardinals linebacker Jim Taylor on a card that was supposed to show Jim, Jim Taylor of the Packers. Uh, it was never corrected. Um, there is a couple reverse negatives. There's three reverse negatives. Um, and there's four misspelled names. And the backs of these cards featured a scratch-off quiz. Uh, being not scratched off, it makes them more valuable than opposed, as opposed to being scratched off. Starting off, they were in team order, uh, but not alphabetical order. They usually started out with the quarterback, and you have Hall of Famer Johnny Unitas right there. Uh, I would grade this set to be excellent to near mint. I do have a couple <clears throat> that I would like to upgrade. Um, but as of right now, I'm considering this set to be done. If I ever do go back and pick up any cards. Um, I, I had a list of updated. I updated all of them. And then I went back and did another list and updated them also. So I don't know if I'll be updating anymore or not, but you can see here it ends with the, uh, the team card, team checklist. <laughs> Took me <clears throat> about two years to initially finish it, and then about another year I worked on the upgrades. It's a very affordable set. Uh, there's the Jimmy Brown. Uh, I think that was the most expensive card right there, actually. Uh, there's nothing scarce about the set. Uh, if you've never collected uh, football sets uh, and you're wanting to do a vintage set, I would say this one uh, would be the set to do. Because, like I said, I didn't spend a fortune on it. Um... And there's nothing really scarce about it, so uh, I just like the simpleness of the set. Kind of reminds me of the '57 Topps baseball set. Uh, I like the borders. 
unlike the, the new cards of today, I like to have some borders. That's just my opinion, though. But I had a lot of fun with this set. I did a little bit of research on it before I started and thought to myself that this was definitely one that I would be able to finish. So, um, that being said, I'll just be quiet and just show off the cards. That's the Jim Taylor error. I think I called him Phil. I'm Paul. That's alright though. Anyhow. Packers were packed with guys that year. Quite a few Hall of Famers. I just read an interesting fact today that uh, the first Super Bowl that was broadcast, it was broadcast on two channels, CBS and ABC, and apparently the, is it the ABC? Uh, they do not have the footage anymore of it, and the other footage is in the possession of a private citizen, I'm not sure exactly how he got it, something about it was in a, found in his dad's attic or something, it had been there for like 38 years and they're still in litigation over uh, trying to get that footage back of the uh, first Super Bowl with the uh, Chiefs and I want to say Packers, I don't remember, but anyways. I thought that was kind of interesting that uh, why they wouldn't have the footage. And I guess the other company, whether it's ABC or NBC, I don't know why they wouldn't have tried to, uh, why they would let it deteriorate like that. I guess things like that didn't matter back then like they do now. Do, do. You can see the Eagles, they were packed. With uh, the superstars. And here comes my my Steelers. These are probably uh, these pictures were uh, obviously taken in spring training. Because they all, they're all wearing different uniforms, different colors. So like I said, this is an easy set to build. 132 cards. Nothing really scares about it. Uh, the main Hall of Famers I mentioned are the more... Higher price ones and the uh, team cards, they cost a little bit more money. Um, centering's a big issue with this. That's one of the things that I, I did go back and try to correct. Like I probably would want to update this Perry and maybe even uh, the Tittle card. Um, I don't know, or I just keep it the way it is and not worry about it and concentrate on other stuff. But either way. Um, there's nothing that uh, that will elude you from this set. There, plenty of them available, but it's just a real fun set to collect. So, it's the last page. And that's it, guys. Have a good Sunday. Talk to you soon.